Welcome to the Building a Wine Cellar tutorial. As you may know, the proper environment for the preservation and maturing of fine wines requires controlling both temperature and humidity. The WhisperCool system by Vinotech is specifically designed to maintain that delicate balance, creating an environment for you to enjoy wine collecting for years to come. In the next few minutes, you'll learn about the steps and considerations involved in building a custom wine cellar for use with WhisperCool. Positioning the cellar in your house. Before starting, you must choose a room with access to adequate ventilation. If you have a choice, it's a good idea to choose a room with as little exposure to direct sunlight as possible. As you're choosing a room, take note of which walls are inside and which are outside, as this will determine how much insulation is required and where to install the vapor barrier. The WhisperCool system is designed to be mounted through an interior wall into the cellar. The rear of the unit should vent into another room of the house, which then exchanges exhaust with the outside air. However, if this is not possible due to design constraints, the system can be mounted through an exterior wall and vent directly to the outside, provided that the geographical climate is mild and the rear of the unit is properly protected from rain and direct sunlight. These important requirements are described in greater detail in the venting section of the presentation. Framing the room Build wine cellar walls using standard 2x4 or 2x6 construction methods and ceiling joists following the guidelines of local and state codes in your area. In cellars, the thicker the walls, the better the insulation factor, the better the cellar remains at a consistent temperature. Vapor Barrier Apply 6 mm plastic sheeting to the warm side of the cellar walls to create a vapor barrier. Ideally, this should be applied to the outside walls and ceiling. If it is impossible to get to the outside, then the plastic must be applied from within the cellar. Wrap the entire interior, including the ceiling, to create a complete vapor barrier. The importance of an effective vapor barrier cannot be overstated. In high humidity areas, the barrier prevents warm, moist air from entering the cellar. Excessive moisture can cause mold to form. In dry areas, the barrier helps to regulate and retain humidity within the cellar. Insulation. The WhisperCool product requires that the walls and ceiling be insulated. Standard fiberglass or rigid foam insulation is most common, though blown-in insulation can also be used. A minimum of R13 should be applied to the interior walls of a cellar. Exterior walls may require R19 insulation depending on wall thickness. A minimum of R19 is required for the ceiling of the cellar though if the ceiling is exposed to direct sunlight or strong winds, R30 is required. Wall covering. There are many options available for wall covering. Standard sheetrock is acceptable, but many cellar contractors prefer to use green board, which is moisture resistant and therefore better suited to high humidity environments. A PVA paint formulation will provide a durable finish and help to work as a vapor barrier. Tongue and groove wood paneling is also an attractive option for wall covering. Select rot-resistant woods, such as redwood and cedar, which will breathe in the cool, damp environment of a cellar. This paneling may be left unfinished and unsealed. However, spilled wine or water will discolor unfinished wood. Flooring. You may use many types of flooring, including slate, tile, marble, and vinyl. However, carpet will mold and mildew in the cool, damp conditions of a cellar and must not be used. Door. Install an exterior grade door using weather stripping on all four sides of the door jamb. A bottom sweep or threshold is also required to create a tight seal and prevent cool air from escaping out of the cellar. Placement of the unit in the room. The Whisper Cool has been designed to fit between standard wall studs, allowing installation with a minimum of modification to existing wall structures. In the center of the room, cut a rectangular hole in the sheetrock between two studs. The hole should be within 12 inches from the ceiling, and 16 inches tall for the 1600, 3000, and 4200 models, 22 and 3 quarters inches tall for the 6000 and 8000 models. Framing for the Unit Sheetrock alone cannot support the weight of a 65 to 110 pound cooling system. Therefore, it's necessary to frame the hole using 2x4s. 
make sure that the internal height remains the same as before. Once you have the frame built, you can install the unit following the instructions in your owner's manual. Electrical requirements. For your convenience, the WhisperCool unit can be plugged in from either the front or back. As with any sensitive electrical equipment, the WhisperCool circuitry can be damaged by power surges and spikes, so you should use a surge protector or power conditioner. In addition, the system requires a dedicated 110 volt, 20 amp circuit to ensure that it has the proper starting amps to run at all times. Having other electrical components on the same circuit may compromise the unit's ability to draw the necessary amperage needed to start. Lighting Lighting is an important aspect of cellar decor. However, lights can produce a tremendous amount of heat, so some consideration must be made regarding their selection. Low voltage lights should be used to minimize the amount of heat generated. Canned ceiling lighting is popular in cellars, but attention to detail must be made to ensure that the vapor barrier on the ceiling does not allow a loss of cool air and humidity. Track lighting can also be used to highlight display areas or artwork within the cellar. Timers and motion detector switches are recommended to prevent the lights being left on when no one is in the cellar. Venting Proper ventilation on the exhaust side of the cooling unit is one of the most important considerations in building your cellar and installing the WhisperCool system. The cooling system is designed to cool 30 degrees cooler than the temperature on the exhaust side of the unit. Therefore, in order to maintain 55 degrees in the cellar, the exhaust room must not get warmer than 85 degrees. In the cellar, cool air comes down out of the unit at a 45 degree angle causing the warmer air to rise toward the ceiling. This is then pulled into the unit, providing a consistent temperature throughout. As the unit cools the cellar, it generates at least as much heat on the exhaust side. Thus, adequate airflow must be available to allow the heat to dissipate. If the warm air in the exhaust room is not ventilated, the exhaust room will gradually become warmer. Since the cooling unit can only maintain a 30 degree temperature difference, this will cause the temperature in the cellar to rise as well. Inadequate ventilation is the most common mistake consumers make when installing the unit. This causes the cooling unit to run continuously and may lead to additional problems such as icing over or premature failure. To prevent this, an exhaust fan must be installed in the room to remove the warm trapped air. However, and this is very important, there must be a fresh air intake source installed as well. Otherwise, air lock, or a lack of air flow, will prevent the room from cooling. Do not attempt to install ducting on the unit. The fans are not designed to push air through a restricted environment. Adequate ventilation and airflow will assure consistent temperatures in the cellar, maximize the cooling unit's performance, and improve longevity. Although it isn't recommended, if necessary, the WhisperCool system can be mounted through an exterior wall under the following circumstances. 1. As long as the temperature does not exceed 85 degrees in the summer. 2. Or the temperature does not go below 40 degrees in the winter on a consistent basis. Here's why. The unit is designed to cool 30 degrees cooler than the ambient temperature it is exhausting to. If the outside temperature reaches 95 degrees, the unit would only cool to 65 degrees which would actually warm up the cellar and cause the unit to run continually. In this case, it is advisable to install a timer and set it to allow the unit to run at night or only when the outdoor temperatures are at or below 85 degrees. Typically, no one would operate a cooling unit in the winter for obvious reasons. But central heating inside the home can cause cellar temperatures to rise in winter months. The WhisperCool unit will have limited capacity to keep a cellar cool if outside temperatures reach 40 degrees or below on the exhaust side of the unit. In this case, the unit may ice up. Even in a temperate climate, the rear of the cooling unit must be protected from rain and direct sunlight. WhisperCool offers a protective housing which prevents moisture and direct heat from penetrating the rear of the unit. Failing to follow the proper requirements for outside installation may cause premature failure and is not covered under warranty. Humidity The WhisperCool unit is designed to maintain relative humidity between 50 and 70 percent. 
in high humidity environments, the unit will remove excess humidity out of the air and dissipate this moisture through the condensate evaporator system or optional drain line. The whisper cool system does not create humidity. If you live in a dry environment, you may need to create humidity within the cellar. This can be done by the periodic use of a non-heat humidifier or by installing a small decorative fountain within the cellar. Racking. Wine racking can vary significantly based on your style, taste, budget, and use of the cellar. Racking is usually made from mahogany, redwood, or cedar. Attention should be focused on bottle sizes, storage capacity, and display options. Some cellars are designed simply for one purpose, to store wine. Others are built to showcase a nice collection and entertain friends. Wine accessory catalogs offer a variety of economical and easy-to-use racking kits to meet your needs. Or for something tailored to your desires, cellar contractors offer design, manufacturing, and installation services which range from the purely functional to the highly elaborate. Once the racking is installed, you'll have created a beautiful home for your collection with temperature and humidity maintained by Whispercool. Whispercool by Vinotech protecting your investment in fine wines.